Welcome to the Aloha Healing Zone, a place where we can positively connect with each other, receive spiritual guidance and messages, receive and give upliftment, harmony, positivity, love, peace, motivation, and more. A place of respect where any violators, haters, trolls, or anyone spreading negativity will be blocked. Now let's get it. Pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it. What's up, you guys? This is Joey. Welcome back to the channel. And I'm back again with another reading. And this one is going to be actually a collective reading, all right? We're going to be doing a reading that's for the collective or whoever needs to hear this right now at this time. Um, again, it could be timeless as well, like whenever you check the video, if you ever watch it, okay? This is going to be for, for those who are watching it now, it'll be for this week, right? This coming week, the week of, uh, what is this? Today is Sunday, March 29th, so it'll be... Uh, from today till next Sunday, right? So it'll be for the week of March uh, 29th, okay? To 2020. Like I said, it's timeless. Whatever, or it could be timeless too. Whenever you, you know, you see the, whatever you see in the reading, okay? So uh, we have four decks here, and I'm just gonna pull some cards and see what we can find some snapshots of what's what's coming up for you. And this week, and what you need to know, okay? Let's see what what we could find out here for you. If I could shuffle these cards the right way, good. All right. Let's see what we got so far. We got Queen of Wands, Knight of Cups, an offer coming in, Ten of Cups. So yeah, an offer is coming in. It looks like for some people, it could be an offer of love that's coming in for you guys, right? Or some sort of, if it's not an offer of love, it is an offer, like it could be a job offer or something is being presented to you that is gonna make you happy, right? It could be somebody wanting to build something with you for some people. Someone is definitely passionate about it. I'm passionate about receiving this offer, giving this offer to you, okay? This is like happiness. You got the Ten of Cups here, so this person wants to build something with you. And this person definitely wants to build. And I feel that they've been like, watching you for a while this is not like someone who just jumped out of the bushes and said hey i like that person i like you hey what's up no this is like someone who wants to build something with you they feel that they could be happy with you we got rejoicing celebration yeah so we got a celebration here so fulfillment of wishes also wow okay we got fulfillment of wishes Rejoice in celebration. So you'll be sell once you receive this offer, you're gonna be celebrating. So this is either an offer for if it's an offer for love, you're gonna be happy when you get it. It's gonna be something that you've been wishing, you've been wishing for, and you've been wanting for a while. You know, if it's that love offer, it's someone who you've been thinking about for a while. You've been passionate about something is coming through for you finally. That is gonna make you happy. And that is going to feel like a, you know, a fulfillment of wishes for you. Let's see what we got here. We got Kuan Yin, care and compassion, choose to be love, do what is right for everyone involved, offer a helping hand. So this is you being in, in your love energy, right? Having love for yourself and for other people as well doing what is right for everybody like not only for yourself right and not being selfish because we got the ten of cups here so this is like happiness for yourself and for happiness for the people around you too so this offer is going to be something that is going to actually that is going to affect not only yourself but other people around you too like whether it's your family friends or whatever it's going to affect them because this offer coming in 
could bring you into a more happier and energetic feeling, right? It could bring you in a more happier, energetic space, right? It could be one that snapped you out of whatever energies you've been in right now, but one that um, is like a game changer or like a breath of fresh air. I'm getting a breath of fresh air that's coming in, some much needed uh, good news much needed good news and good happenings for you for this week something is coming through for you something is finally being offered to you and it's gonna make you excited about it you know excited and happy you're gonna be celebrating with your friends and it's gonna be like celebration time spring oh spring spring spying so it could be for some people it could be someone who has been spying on you on your social media someone from your past it could be someone from the past someone who you've said goodbye to already returning someone it could be it could be some sort of choice that you had in the past that you might have gotten wrong, right? You might need to get more information to make a, a correct uh, decision about it, but you didn't have all the information that you need. So, that, look, look, under the bottom, we have a new job. So for somebody, it could be a new job. Or even if, if, if it's love, if it's a love situation, it could be a new relationship as well, okay? Like a new relationship offer. You see how the hand is sticking out like, welcoming the person, this is a new offer. So for some people, it could even be a new job that's coming through, that's gonna change your, um, your environment, and change your, your at whole atmosphere. This is you standing in your power, no longer being a victim. No longer being, no longer being a victim to your circumstances and standing in your power, finally. Not feeling sorry for yourself, for bad choices that you may have made in the past. It's like you letting those bad choices go, letting them go, saying goodbye to the bad choices, learning what you need to learn, finding out what you need to learn. So this time around when the offer presents itself, you can make the correct choice so that it could uh, be better for you, okay? And you can no longer, so, and so you can take yourself out of this victim mentality or victim um, position in life and stand, stand in your power. Use your intuition. Once this offer comes through, like I said, if it, whether it's love, whether it's work or whatever it is, once the offer comes through, make sure that you're using your intuition so that you're making the right choices for yourself this week when this comes through for you, okay? Yeah, let go of past hurts. Let go of anything past. I know that for some people, past hurts may have been a challenge, right? And it might have to do with like secrets and whatever and whatnot. And it could have to do with your self-esteem, by the way, how you feel about yourself as well. But you need to let that stuff go. What happened in the past happened in the past. You feel me? What happened there is let it go because this new offer could, for some people could bring you a marriage. It could be like a marriage offer for some people. It could be a relationship offer for some people. Someone wanted to, be, someone wanted to uh, connect with you and, uh, romantically. You know, it could be, and if it's for a job, it's for them wanting to sign you on, you know, and give you the job and sign you on to the company, right? There's been a weak foundation in the past, but like I said, learn from the past so that you're able to make better decisions now. On the bottom of the deck, we have proposals. Same thing, a proposal coming through. Somebody could be asking somebody to get married. Somebody could be asking them just to, to be with them you know, in a uh, committed relationship, right? You'll be finding joy. You'll be finding a happier time for yourself, right? Finding a happier time and, and taking this situation and making the best of it and making the right choices this time. Making sure that you make the right choices that serve your highest good and that will be beneficial for you in the long run. Healing from past hurts from false friends. People who are not good for you. People who are hanging around 
telling you lies or giving you fake uh, ideals about like your friendship and whatnot. Could be could have been people stabbing you in the back, people betraying you. But this is you healing from all of that, letting all that stuff go, and walking into your success. You know, walking into a happier time, taking this opportunity to laugh, to to play, to to be happy, to you know, to to, to put yourself in a better position uh, mentally. And you're definitely meant to and you're being advised to listen to the guidance that you're being receiving at this time okay listen to the guidance that you're receiving so that you can make the most and the best of this opportunity that is coming for you because this opportunity like i said before the opportunity is going to bring you happiness it's going to bring you happiness not for yourself but for your family as well it's going to bring you a celebration as well put you in a good uh mood good state of mind and also it's going to be a fulfillment of wishes okay so you have to make sure that you're connected to your intuition so that you're making the right choices for yourself and standing in your power use that intuition so that you can take advantage of whatever offers could be coming to you uh this week okay all right you guys that's the collective reading for this week uh, if you guys liked it go ahead and like the video and let me know about it and um, if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel and be a part of the Aloha family. Okay, I really appreciate you guys so, so much. And I wish you guys an awesome week and stay safe. Okay, ciao.